Before we conclude this court of honor, we have a guest here tonight. Ryan Kale is here to discuss the Friends of Scouting program. Would you like to come up and say a few words, Mr. Kale? Sure. I'm going to stand down here. I'm used to yelling in front of a couple bunch of Cub Scouts, and you guys are sitting way too quietly, so this will be easy. My name is Brian Kale. I'm a Cub Master of Pac 71 out of Leesburg. I'm also the Cub Scout District Roundtable Commissioner for Goose Creek, and I'm also a trainer. I'm also a dad of three boys. And I'm an Eagle Scout. I'm going to talk to you about Friends of Scouting for just a quick second. I'm not going to make this long. I know I've sat through long ones like, yeah, great, here we go. Friends of Scouting is about supporting scouting. <coughs> scouting has been around for a little bit over 100 years. What makes scouting work? Number one, it takes boys who want adventure, who want to go outside, who want to have fun, who are willing to try and do their best. Without the boys, there is no scouting. Number two, it takes parents. It takes parents who take time out of their, their lives to make sure their sons have opportunities. Bring them to meetings. Encourage them when they're down and go, I don't think I want to work on this. <coughs> make sure they're there to celebrate their victories. Talk to them when they may have not had a victory. Hey, what could you have done different? Let's try it again. Other parents who become leaders and put on a tan shirt. It's only an hour a week or an hour a month. Wherever we were sold when they first started. <laughs> It's a lot more, but they take their time, their effort, their talent, and they provide that extra oomph. The hardest part about being a leader, especially a Boy Scout leader, not the Cub Scout, Boy Scout leader, is that the boys are leading, and it's so easy sometimes to sit back going, gosh, if I can do this, I can do this, I have to let the boys do what they need to do, because that's how they learn. Sometimes they have to bite their tongue because, oh my gosh, this is just not going to work, but they have to learn. And by learning these things, this is how you guys grow into men of character, which is what scouting is about. Men of character. That's what we believe in. That's what parents want their boys to be a part of. It's what I want my three sons to be a part of. My oldest son will be moving to Boy Scouts in a few months. My middle son will be starting Cub Scouts, fresh, brand new. And then my next one, a couple years later, fresh, brand new again. So here we go. What is Friends of Scouting? Scouting needs the boys, you need the parents, you need the time, but it also needs the money. This is the part where people are like, oh, you're going to ask me for money. Yes, I am. <laughs> I might as well just say it the way it is. Scouting runs off volunteers. The vast majority of every position in the Boy Scouts of America nationwide is run by volunteers. It is the largest volunteer organization. There are very, very few paid scouters. That should be a, I think it would be a great job, personally always pushing forward a program that has such great moral character and is looking for the best in people and to make people succeed. To let boys try and fail, but then try again and finally succeed. It takes money. Friends of Scouting is your local council's capability to actually bring on programs, <coughs> to maintain the camps, provide camperships for those who cannot afford camps. There are plenty of boys in this affluent county that need that extra little bit. Their families need a little extra bit to get them to camp. It keeps all the equipment up and running. It provides all the documentation, all the paperwork, all the badges, all the necessary tracking, especially the tracking to get the Eagle. The Eagle Scout processing alone is 100 bucks when you count up all the people who have to touch it and all the record keeping that goes along with it. It goes for all of the adults Background checks. We believe in youth protection. Absolutely. No question. That's what we believe in. There's a background check on every single adult leader that wears a tan shirt and is a registered leader. That costs money too. It has to do with the mailing. It has to do with the upkeep of all the facilities within this county. So, what am I asking? I handed out these um, at the very beginning of the meeting. It has information about, a little bit about the program. You guys know about the program. Your scout parent and your scout. You know about the program. What this really does tell you is it tells you a little bit about the budget of the council. That's the important part. What it also tells you is that the council's budget, if you divide it up by the number of boys, is $185 per boy. That's how much it costs the council's budget to maintain all the infrastructure and provide to a boy. Now, scouts, I don't have to explain as much, but I usually explain to Cub Scouts, people are like, well, we're already paying dues. We're already paying. Your dues stay with your local unit. They pay for activities, badges, 
whatever the case may be. Maybe you help them out on summer camp, I'm not sure. Each, each unit handles it differently, but that's their funds. <coughs> funds beyond that are what's required here. So what I'm asking is, I would like absolutely everyone to fill out a card and turn it in, even if you pledge zero. That says, I support scouting and I believe in scouting. Absolutely, positively. Obviously, if you find it within your heart that this is something you want to support a little bit more, thank you very much. And there are multiple ways. Obviously, there's a check or whatever immediately. There's a pledge for the future. There's credit card. There's, you know, they want to make it easy for you. But it is a, it is an ask, you know, I'm asking for a pledge. So, for instance, this year, I, this is the first year I've actually asked to pledge for the future. Times are tight. But I believe in scouting. I've always believed in scouting. I've been a scout for a long time. And I love being a scout. I know these boys enjoy the scouting. And truthfully, this has been a great truth to visit. Thank you so much. I visited a whole bunch lately with my son getting ready to transition. And it has been a joy to be here to see this. And this is what scouting is about. I'll be here for the rest of the meeting. I am looking forward to any questions anyone may have. Anyone that's turning in a card, at least until I run out, we'll get one of these handy dandy flashlights, which is a little hand card. It's so cool. Yeah, it's, it's a trinket. But it is a thank you. 